A man in the Ecto-1 runs away. Something bursts out of a mine belonging to Shandor Mining, just as a ghostly being is chasing after Egon Spengler. He gets back to his house and tries to set a big ghost trap, but he can't make it work. Egon runs back into the house and gets ready, but the ghost pulls him into his chair and kills him. Callie, Egon's separated daughter, lives with her two kids, Trevor and Phoebe, who are both interested in science like Egon. Soon, they are kicked out of their home because Callie can't pay the rent. However, she finds out that Egon left his family a house in Somerville, so she packs up the kids and goes there. The family makes it to Egon's house, which everyone in town knew as the home of the dirt farmer because he was so quiet. Even though the house is a dump, Callie hopes they can fix it up and make it their new home. Janine Melnitz meets them, and she tells Callie that Egon left them with a lot of debt and that Janine was the one who paid the bills. Callie takes the kids to a burger shop for dinner, where Trevor goes to fill out an application for a job. He falls in love with an older girl who works there called Lucky right away. But the other guys make fun of Trevor when he tries to talk to her. Phoebe's chessboard and pieces are all over the floor when they get home, so she puts them back together before going to bed. Trevor goes outside to look around and ends up in the barn, where he finds the Ecto-1. One of the chess pieces has moved when Phoebe wakes up, so she moves one of her own. Callie drives Trevor to the burger place so he can start working there while Phoebe goes to summer school. She meets her teacher, Mr. Gruberson, and a student named Podcast, who has a podcast about supernaturals. Groberson puts on Cujo movie for the class instead of teaching and an earthquake happens. Phoebe goes to Gruberson's office where she finds out that he is a seismologist and has spent the last few years watching for earthquakes in the city. Later, Phoebe and Podcast walk toward the mines and find what looks like an old monster body. Trevor starts to fix the engine of the Ecto-1 when he gets home. Later that night, Phoebe notices that the chess pieces have moved again, and when she moves her own piece, the ghost in the room knocks her piece off the board. She continues to look around the house and finds both Egon's PKE meter and an old ghost trap. When Phoebe goes back to school, she brings the ghost trap and shows it to the podcast. Gruberson sees it and is curious about it. He tells Phoebe and the podcast that Somerville has had a lot of earthquakes in the last few years, even though it doesn't have an epicenter. He talks about the old ghost sightings and shows Phoebe and Podcast a movie of the original Ghostbusters after they saved Manhattan from destruction in the 1980s. Phoebe learns that her grandfather was a Ghostbuster. Groberson takes them outside of the school to show them how the trap works, but they accidentally set off a scary ghost that flies toward the Shandor mine. Groberson takes Phoebe and Podcast back to Egon's house, where it seems like Callie and Groberson have some spark. The kids look through more of Egon's things and find a book about Gozer the Gozerian. This is the same evil old being that terrorized Manhattan all those years ago. The book also tells how the gatekeeper and keymaster freed Gozer. In the meantime, Lucky asks Trevor to hang out with her and her friends at the mines, where they see one of the ghostly things jump out of the ground and fly away. Phoebe takes the PKE meter to the barn, where she finds Egon's old computer room and workplace. She finds his old outfit with his name on it, and she soon realizes that the ghost that has been following her is Egon. Before she goes back to her room, she fixes up one of his gadgets. When Phoebe later asks Callie what kind of scientist Egon was, she brushes him off with anger because he left her and her mother. Phoebe shows podcast Egon's old proton pack in the morning, and the beam still works well when they test it. Then they hear a noise coming from inside a building where they find a blue, blobby ghost that they call Muncher because it eats metal. When the ghost sees Phoebe and Podcast, it strikes by sending metal shards at them while yelling. When they shoot the proton beam at Muncher, he flies away. They go after the ghost just as Trevor pulls up in the Ecto-1 after fixing it up and taking it for a ride. As Phoebe and the Podcast run after Muncher, he picks them up. Phoebe sits in the car's retractable seat and keeps shooting the proton beam at Muncher. Callie is out on a date with Gruberson, where she talks about how worried she is that Phoebe won't fit in. Callie and Gruberson see the kids driving through town and shooting the beam as they chase Muncher. The three follow Muncher outside of town as he heads toward the mine. To catch the ghost, they use a remote-controlled trap. As they drive back, Sheriff Domingo stops them and puts them in jail. In the jail cell, the three people find out that Lucky is Domingo's daughter, 
but she backs up Trevor's story to Phoebe and podcast about the ghost they saw. Phoebe uses her one phone call to get in touch with Ray Stans, who runs an occult antique shop out of the old Ghostbusters offices. When Phoebe talks about Egon, Ray tells her that he can rot in hell. But when Phoebe says that Egon is dead, Ray feels bad about what he said. Ray tells Phoebe that Egon had a big fight with him and the other Ghostbusters before he left with all of their old tools and went to Somerville. The last time Ray talked to Egon, he said something crazy about the end of the world. Before Domingo tells her to hang up, Phoebe tells Ray that she is Egon's niece. Callie and Gruberson come to help the kids, but Domingo stores all of the Ghostbusters' tools. When they get home, Phoebe and Callie fight because Phoebe has come to understand and respect what Egon did. But Callie still thinks he's a bad father and doesn't want her daughter involved in his business. Something stirs back at the mine. Gruberson goes to Walmart to buy ice cream, but while he's there, he sees little bags of stay puffed marshmallows coming to life and little marshmallow men popping out of the bags. Gruberson keeps going until he sees Vince Clortho, the keymaster, in the aisle. Gruberson runs for his life, but the beast follows him to his car and kills him there. The next day, Phoebe, Podcast, and Trevor go to the mine with Lucky to find out more. They find a temple with a figure of Gozer and the body of Evo Shandor, who led a group of people who worshipped Gozer. Seismic events over the years have left dates on the walls, and it looks like Shandor was getting ready to wake up this year for Gozer's return. When another earthquake happens, the kids find out what caused it. A spirit portal under a trap that Egon built to keep Gozer and other bad ghosts away. When Gozer tries to get out, the trap goes off, and the kids run away. Callie finds the PKE meter and Egon's lab, where she learns that Egon's ghost is also there. He has pictures and news stories about her from when she was young all over his wall, which shows that he really did love her. Zul finds her and attacks her, which is sad. When the kids get home, Callie has been taken over by Zul. She turns wild and attacks them, while Gruberson, who is now controlled by Vin's Clortho, breaks Egon's trap and lets a lot of bad ghosts into Somerville. The kids go to Egon's lab to get his tools and outfits so they can try to stop Gozer on their own. As fear spreads through the town, the kids go to the station and let Muncher out so he can eat through the metal bars and get the equipment that was taken. Zul and Vin's Clortho get together to call Gozer while this is going on. As Zul and Vin's Clortho bring out the old temple and make Gozer human again, the new Ghostbusters drive toward the chaos. Shandor wakes up and tries to make the evil ghost happy, but Gozer rips him in half. When the four get there to fight back, Podcast is able to weaken Zul and trap him, which frees Callie from Zul's control. Gozer is briefly weakened, but when the trap goes wrong and Zul takes over Lucky, Gozer gets his power back. It tries to kill Callie and the other kids until someone says, Hey, flat top! Then Ray, Peter Venkman, and Winston Zeddemore, who were the first Ghostbusters, came to help. They cross the streams to get to Gozer, but the bad ghost beats them and gets through. Phoebe tries to get Gozer by herself, but Egon's ghost shows up and helps her keep it together. He stands with his old friends and allies, and with the help of Trevor and Podcast, they are able to set the trap so that Gozer, Zul, and Vin's Clortho fall into it and get eaten. Trevor helps Lucky get out of the shell that Zul used to be in, and he also helps Gruberson get out of the shell that Vin's Clortho used to be in. The old Ghostbusters talk to the new ones, and Venkman agrees that Phoebe is really Egon's granddaughter, and Callie is able to hug her father one last time before he dies. The old Ghostbusters go back to New York City. Dana Barrett, who is married to Venkman, is giving him an electroshock test. Egon giving Janine a coin is shown in memory. In the present, she shows the coin to Winston, who is making plans to fix up the old offices and Ecto-1. At the same time, one of the boxes that keep ghosts starts to glow red. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified when we upload new videos and enjoy watching.